When you're ready to install plugins, go to Bucket's plugin page. There's hundreds to choose from, but some of the ones I recommend getting first are Command Book, World Guard, and World Edit. Command Book is standard commands that are necessary. World Edit is literally a world editing tool. You select two points using the wooden axe and can do almost anything you can imagine. World Guard also literally guards your world. You can choose how you want fire to spread, creepers to explode, TNT to explode, and lava to spread. After you get those three, you can just drag them to your desktop. Then open FileZilla back up. Stop your server. And drag them into the plugins folder. Now, go ahead and run your server and log on and make sure they're working. Make sure you've OP'd yourself to have access to the commands. Yes, command book's working. And world guard's working. All plugins are installed this way. If the plugin comes in a ZIP with a folder included in it, make sure you drag the folder to the plugins folder. Too. It probably has an important config file in it the plugin will need to run. Now that you have plugins installed, it's time to modify their configuration to your liking. So go ahead and log into your control panel and go into WebFTP. Go into plugins and find the name of the thing you want to mess with. And choose to edit it. I want to change the message of the day. To something that would suit my server. Now, in World Guard, there's a lot of things you can modify to guard your server. It has a config file for each world, so go into the world folder that matches the name of your world. So we are going to block TNT block the lighter, block fire spread, and block creeper explosions.
go ahead and save and go back into the game and type slash reload and now we'll see if it works or not nothing happened it's working